exciting times have happened. Artie is going out in the lorry tomorrow. Now, like any of us, we have none of us have been out in the lorry for quite a few months with lockdown going on. Artie hasn't actually been in the lorry for probably two, three years. So it's even more exciting for him, or probably in his case not that exciting because he doesn't actually like loading very much. Um, so I thought I'd give him a, oh it's a bit smoky, um, I thought I'd give him a bit of a tidy up, just flip those feathers, I mean not that we're going to see anyone, but we're going to the gallop, so I thought it'd be a nice chilled way just to get him back out, see what he thinks, um, but yeah he's looking a bit manky so I thought I'd give him a bit of a hair trim, you can see his sweet itch means that he's got a very interesting mane, um, yeah give him a bit of a tidy up, get the clippers on him and just spruce him up a little bit. So first up, I'm going to go and clip his feathers because he looked like a cob. Um, these are the Clipperman jewels. Yeah, it's jewels. Says on the side. Love these little clippers. I bought them just oh gosh, probably five, six years ago. Just picked randomly a pair and love them. I need a new pair of um, blades on them. But yeah, they're very quiet and compared to a lot of the brands I use with other people, these are my favourite by a long way. We have. Four kind of nice, in fact I can see the cut marks on the other side. He had really thick feathers so I might have to do a bit of a tidy up but anyway, they look tidy enough. I'm not going to a show, I'm just going to the gallops but yeah. Taken off some hair so he looks a little bit smarter now to attack that. He having a horse or sweet itch. Um, yeah that's going to be fun, he's missing already a good portion of the middle of his mane so uh, and he always has a sweet itch rug on. So, not much I can do. He's just, that's lovely, thanks Art. Anyway, I'm gonna sort out the top part and just try and neaten it up a touch. I thought I'd do a little mini lorry tour for you guys. So, this is my old girl. We've had her probably about 15 years, so she is an old girl, but she is very dear to me, my lorry. Uh, we're going to the gallop, so we're obviously not packing tons of stuff. But I thought I'd show you some of the things that I always keep in my lorry and what I'm packing for Artie for tomorrow. So, starting with my Albion Contact Light. I love the saddle. Obviously looking for one for Artie at the moment. And my Jeffrey's Leather Girth, which is so beautifully made. It's probably one of the best leather girths I've ever come across. It's so soft and Artie is really sensitive to touch like his skin is. So he doesn't like being groomed or washed or anything like that. I think it must be due to his sweetage, but love that girth. Grooming kit, lick, just in case you've got to try and persuade anyone to get on the lorry. Arty. Um, my bridle, which is a GFS. I've had it years. What I love about this bridle is it does up both sides, and I've got another nose band, um, like a show nose band that goes on it as well, so I can swap it in. It's good. It's a good bridle. Uh, Coops fly veil, and then a chiffany, which hopefully I never have to use, but you never know. Spare lead ropes. Uh, waterproof sheet, these things always stay, studs, medical kit, spare rug and then under the towel there's girth, spare reins, essentials and some spare boots under there so those are sort of bits that often stay and then the carrot stick so this carrot stick is the one thing that is most likely to get Artie to go up that lorry and the more sort of decorative it can be with bags the better he knows when you've added a new bag to it so yeah we can't go anywhere without the carrot stick that tends to help us get that big fat chestnut on board so yeah so that is my tack locker so welcome to the old lorry inside so like any lorry gets a nice seating area at the top tends to be a bit of a dumping ground so my De Niro boots are up there just spare riding clothes really main job by the look of it um, I mean oven fridge that we never use Actually, I must put my cryo chaps in um, before we go tomorrow. The cupboard, which has very little in it. I mean, a tweed jacket, not that I ever wear tweed anymore. And my Picure dressage jacket and just, you know, spare coats. The stuff you fill lorries with. Um, I'm going to say that my favourite part is the loo. Um, yeah. I don't like public loos. I mean, it'd be a bit grim in there. It's an old loo, but love my own loo. People who know me know that I'm one for a loo. And then there are the partitions in the back. So we can take two horses. You can probably get three ponies in. Um, and then we've got a rack up there. Not that I ever fill it. I think it's got a spade. That's about it. A fan which comes in 
real use in the summer. We use the fan a lot. And there's also, I think you can see, there's also a camera up there. So we can see them in their fidgeting and being naughty. So yeah, so <laughs> it's not a very big lorry, but I love it dearly. Um, yeah, so that is our lovely little lorry. So just getting myself organised. I've loaded the lorry as you saw and now just getting the stuff that I need to use tomorrow morning ready. So we've got to be there by nine. So we'll probably have to leave just after half eight. It's not that far away from us, but I do think RT is going to be tricky to get on. So we're going to have to leave a certain amount of time just in case he turns out to be a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, he's just super sensitive and I do think the, the dealers didn't treat him that great when it came to loading. When we picked him up, they were pretty rough with him and yeah he's a naturally anxious horse it was never going to suit him that method of trying to load him he just needed time so we were always on a bit of a back foot when trying to load arty because he'd obviously had a bit of a rough time to begin with but anyway got my travel boots ready the blue chip fleece ready tail bandage i've got that head collar but i actually might end up using a halter because he can get a little bit strong lunge line just in case i've got some cross-country front boots um my hat i think that's about it i'll get my cryo traps out in the morning i'm gonna go and make a hay net now yeah, I'm so excited. I I mean, I don't know how he's going to behave. He, Like I say, because he's quite sensitive, he can get quite hepped up when we've tacked him up in the past. And he's like a, you know, moving target. He just doesn't stop moving. So tacking him up on the lorry really is the best way. But anyway, I'm very excited. I'm going to stop waffling and yeah, probably see you guys in the morning. Just come out to do evening stables and I think we've got another beautiful sunset. Do you have a thing for sunsets? Move out the way of the tree. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, um, yeah, just come out to do the horses, give them some feed, put some extra rugs on because it's going to be cold tonight. Um, I'm feeling a bit apprehensive actually for tomorrow and not obviously it's not a competition or anything but I just I just really hope there he is um I just hope that he gets he loads well that's probably my biggest concern I hope he loads well and that he's just calm when he gets there I don't want to you know don't want to rattle him it's been a while handsome devil um yeah I just feel a little bit like oh I hope he's all right in the morning it's one of those things where you have no idea what time to start loading them because you might be lucky and he might walk on quite quickly or we could be there all day. And uh, luckily, oh, he just looks so much better because I pulled his forelock a little bit. So he hasn't got like half the dangly piece that he had that made him look so scruffy. So you're looking particularly tidy tonight, Artie. Um, and luckily, <laughs> I could actually hack home from where we are. So if worst comes to us, um, we can always do that. There's Bills. Oh, corporal rubbing as always. I really wish you wouldn't do that. Corporal, my stables will fall down one day with you doing that. Corporal's been quite scratchy again at the moment. Yes, naughty boy. Anyway, I'm going to get on, change rugs, muck out, give them some haylage, and sort them out ready for bed. And yeah, see? That's why he has a tail like a bog brush. Honestly, I don't show you his tail. It's shocking. Um, but yes, I'm coming, Arts, I'm coming. Hay is on its way. Yeah, good party trick. If only you really did brush up. Hmm? You're always making some sort of din to get my attention. It works, though. So. 